Hey guys, this is Woody here, and welcome back to NASCAR 2011 the game for race 30 and 36 for the running of the something. I believe it's the Pepsi, Pepsi Max 500. So we're about we're about to get this race underway. We're going to change the paint scheme from this to the army car. So we're going to go right to that, and we're going to go right into crew mode. So I'll be back in a second. Last race was at Kansas. I ended up getting second. Jimmy Johnson did end up winning the race. Uh, point standings going into this uh, auto club is a 12 point lead over Jimmy. It's not going to happen today. I know I'm not going to finish ahead of Jimmy. So I'm probably going to lose the points lead going into this race. It all depends on how much I lose. And then we got Charlotte next race. So I feel good about that. But today we got to just do our best and survive. So it's going to be very hard, 10 laps, off standard, full on, same format as every race. And Jeff Gordon's on the pole, thank God, because Jimmy's not on the pole and he's not going to win. So thank you, Gordon. So we're going to skip right to that. We're going to start last. Um, all sister off, the same, same stuff. And uh, I'll be back and we'll get this race started. All right, the game. So we're gonna look at the beautiful Cinemax this game has to offer for us. It is the Pepsi for 500. No, it's 500. No, 400. So it used to be 500 miles an hour. I don't know. I'm pretty sure I'm wrong. So, boy, Jimmy Johnson is second. He's on the outside though, so maybe the gods of this game can give us a chance and have Jimmy have a horrible restart and then Jeff Burton get second and then have a good day. So the pace car is down the road. We're about to get this race underway. Fireworks are going off over there. Get ready and green flag is out. Ten laps will begin now. Let's try to survive. Let's not show up what if. AKA Dover. I would say Kansas, but Kansas wasn't too bad. It wasn't as big of a shit fuck as it, as it was. And Jeff Gordon has pulled away to a country mile lead and we're only through turn two going into turn three. Holy shit, and they're brake checking on the outside line. What do I do? Should I just try to go through the middle? No, we're going to try to hold the, our car to the bottom, even though they're all kind of just... Well, the, the power of the draft is just pushing our car off the track a little bit. And we're already getting to gain a couple spots here. Maybe four, maybe five, but no, it's only going to be four spots this lap. All I'm really expecting in this race is just to finish in the top ten to continue my streak that I've been keeping since New Hampshire of race 19 so it's been quite a long streak it's almost been 12 to 11 races now and they're all just stacking they are stacking up and for whatever reason uh, they just don't like to hold the bottom line here so technically I mean technically I can little, like underdrive the corner just a little bit and still kind of gain on them. I don't know why they just kind of slow up pretty badly through here but this lap we went from being in 39th to 27th so we gained 12 spots in this lap, which is good, you know, I'm not complaining. Um, I just need, I'm just kind of, I'm just worried where Jimmy's at right now. I can't really tell from the track map or even looking ahead as I'm trying to squint and everything. I can't really tell. Uh, uh, let's see here. Uh, Trevor Bain is in 26. That's not too bad. I can't really complain about that. He's probably doing better than Biffle in this race. Probably not. I'm, I'm more than likely wrong. Car sliding up the track. AI cars are gonna brake check. Get down low, get down low. <laughs> oh god, that was close. And now we're gonna gain maybe almost all the positions in that one lap. So in three laps we gained about what we were in 27th last lap and now we're in 14th. So uh, yeah, that's weird. And like I was just saying about Trevor Bain being ahead of Biffle, I was wrong because Biffle was obviously 12th. So I got it. But look at the lead Gordon has. I mean, if this was real life NASCAR, you know what? I might just stop watching. It. Clean air was so dominant. It already is kind of dominant. But this was 2010 cars. I don't really remember. Not too well. It's been so long. I can't remember. Clean air obviously is just fucking god. But it's not like this. <laughs> like it's just such a big lead off the bat. It's insane. Looks like there is like maybe four or five car battle for second at least. I don't know where Jimmy could be throughout all of that. I don't know. 
I don't know. I don't think a top 10. I don't think what if can pull this off. I mean, even if I get by these three guys, then I could finish high as 11th. But we're all, that's all going to vary depending on if these guys are going to want to break check like mad or, or anything. I mean, there's too many variables into this race to put into account. And it is kind of sad that I have to say, I wonder if they'll break check themselves enough so I can buy them as part of the factoring thing. It's that's, that really I really shouldn't be saying that. But you know that's what these cars do, and you tend likes to think that this is what real NASCAR drivers do in real life, because they said this is like realistic and based on the trilometry of the drivers in real life. Even though if that was the case, then they should fucking hire me as a race car driver, because I could do better than all these guys if they're brake checking this much. In the straightaway. <laughs> I remember in the spring race here, it was like race four, so, yeah, I think it was race, no, but no, 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 it was race, race two, it was race two, I'm, I'm thinking of, um, what they do now, or at least what they did maybe in 2012 or something, I can't remember, it's probably a certain year where they raced out of club the fourth race of the season, or, or something, but now it's a little bit different, oh god, that draft is just sucking me up into the wall, I had to back off a hell of a lot, just so I didn't get near the wall. Just, just gotta stay away from that freaking trap they have because it just sucks you right up into the wall. And I just over underdrive that, overdrive the shit out of that corner. Got a clip boyer just there, a little bit on the side. Surprisingly, I only got a very, very minor damage from all that. Brad Kozlowski has the fastest lap of the race. That's weird. And Vickers is gonna try to make the position on me. That's cute. I'm gonna just let him. Th I'm gonna have it. Have him pretend he's in a false sense of security. And oh god, they're just way up the wall. Up the wall. The track, not wall. That's, god damn it. I don't think a top ten is gonna be possible. In the practice rooms I've done, I've gone top tens like maybe seventh or eighth or ninth, but it's not gonna. I don't think it's gonna happen here. Uh, they just. Uh, I don't know, just luck wasn't on my side. It's some of the, like, the very first lap, I can almost get to, like, the mid-20s, and it's because they're all, they all break checks, and they didn't do that this time, so if I, that's just, just not going to happen unless they're just, unless I can pull a miracle out of my ass. Oh, I don't know. I really should have stayed away from their draft in that, in that one lap where I kind of slid up the track, try not to hit the wall and all that from being in there slipstream and I just slapped the side of Vickers for no reason at all. God damn it, what if? Let's, let's throw the car into three. I mean, not really throwing the car into three. Hello, smoking riders. And I'm gonna get 11th, which is nice. Almadinger is in 10th. That's kind of cute. White flag is out. Jeff Gordon has pulled away from the whole field. Looks like Kurt Busch is second. Kyle Busch is third. Maybe Jimmy's fourth. I think maybe Jimmy is fourth. And look at the field. They're, they're all like three wide up ahead. <laughs> look at that. Actual pack racing in this game. I, it's, it's a very, very, very rare thing to see in this game. Instead of them being in like one big train conga line thing. If I didn't make a mistake in that, that one corner, on that one lap, might have had a shot for that top ten. But we're just going to spin it slightly outside it. Really nothing I could have done this race. We're going to try to flip anyways. Even though we didn't win, we're just going to just die. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh my god. Uh, I wish it did a blowover. Uh, I just, Tony Stewart hit me. Okay. Everybody's just killing me, you know. I mean, that's what I deserve. I mean, I'm not going to be in the points later for the first time in many, many races. I can't remember the last time I was not in the points leader. It might have been very early on in the season. But yeah, I think Jimmy might have gotten four. Yeah, Jimmy got fourth. Uh, ooh, Grunman got 6th, Truex 7th, Bird 8th, Biffle 10th. Alright, let's see, where is, uh... Alright. Points, Jimmy's got the points lead, I have to be sure about that. Yep, an 18 point lead over me. Jeff Gorin is still in the hunt after winning today's race. He did gain on both of us pretty substantially, regardless. Um... Yeah, it looks like to be only a three-man race, me, Jimmy, and Jeff, which that's about how it's been almost all season, because if you compare the three of us, as all these cars are wrecking. Six wins for Jimmy, I think I got 11. Yeah, 11 for me, so that's 17. 
Then if you include Gordon, that's 23. So 23 out of the 30 races have been from three people. <laughs> oh my god. So let's look at the other top 10. Kyle Busch moved up four spots. Hamlin went up two. Harvick went down, went down three. And Stewart 11th. What the fuck? That makes me kind of sad. He was like inside the top 10 the entire season. So that was Auto Club. Pretty solid race over, overall. Really nothing, nothing, nothing bad happened, which was nice. It was a... Uh, it's weird. Like, like most of the tracks in this game are kind of easy, and then you got Auto Club when it's like really fucking hard. Like, it's weird. It's just inconsistency with the programming in this game. But regardless, I got 11th. So I'm now I'm only 18 points back from Jimmy. Now we're going into Charlotte for the Bank of America 500. Yes, what if fucking remembered a race name? Oh my god. So. I will see you all at the next race, race 31 out of 36. Thank you all for watching. I always enjoy the love, feedback, and support all of you give me in the comment section below and liking this video as well. <laughs> and I will see you all next race at Charlotte for 31 out of 36. This is your Messiah, Jesus Christ. Holy shit. The best amazing person of all time. Goddamn. <laughs> what if? And I'll see you all at the next race. So have a good day, everyone.